We have probably seen these piezo solid state fans that flip around to create convection and flow. Its material is highly elastic and it's supposed to be rated for billions of cycles. The only disadvantage is the price. You also have to drive it with very high voltage. If you're interested, I have already made a video to explain how to drive haptic piezo elements, but what I would like to do in this video is build my own solid state fan and make it way cheaper, something like $10. It also has to operate at very high speeds and have a maximized flipping angle. To make this happen, I designed this new magnetic PCB actuator that ended up costing around $5 per sample for 20 pieces, but we also have to add the magnets. I'm not 100% confident that this can flip all the way. In fact, it didn't, but larger magnets magnets improved its behavior. I think the flexible part is still stiff, so I'm going to try and make it more bendy. As you can see, I tried to remove as many as material as I could. The copper traces are passing through these two arms, which also will help with stability. By the way, this PCB was designed to Altium Designer, which you can now try for free using the link in my description. The files are also open source. So, let's start with the large magnets, it's doing a 90 degree flap, let's ramp up the frequency, oh my god, it works, it's doing the 180 degree. It managed to hold the flapping even against gravity, this is actually running at 30 Hz, so it's quite impressive. Not that very windy. Rotary blade fans are much more efficient in cooling things off as they have an intake and an outtake area, but the flapping of my actuator is still pushing some air. To be honest, it didn't seem to have worked as good as the piezo fan, as I think the magnets is blocking some of the air. I tried lowering the magnets further to increase the actuation angle, and it did work, but at a lower speed. I also saw a speed drop when trying thinner magnets. I'm controlling it using my PCB actuator driver, and it's consuming around 0.7 watts. With this regard, piezo actuators are much more efficient, especially when you consider the fact that the PCB is getting a little bit hot. I'm also very concerned about flapping the copper this fast at this angle. I connected three samples and left them powered on. Okay, so it's officially been 24 hours. One of them is still flapping, but the other two are either broken or have lost synchronization. This one seems to be active on this side, but dead on the other side, which means that the copper is broken. And the same thing is happening on the other one. As expected, the durability of this fan is still kind of shitty at the moment, but I still have very high hopes because there are other ways to improve its lifetime, like reducing the actuating angle, increase the copper width in the arms, and actuating the magnets rather than the copper coil. The coil is also smacking the magnet, which can degrade it faster. And the option is to connect a thin piece of metal and drive it at resonance. This was demonstrated very good in this video. We'll talk about these ideas and their durability in the future, but for now just remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching the video and also subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye bye!